in this lesson we are going to take care of adding replies so the first thing we want to do is go to our replies controller and to the store method and implement the functionality for saving a reply but first we need to create a reply model and migration so we're gonna say add make model reply with the migration so that in the create replies migration we are gonna determine what fields we need first we need to be able to know what user is replying so we're gonna save the user ID secondly we need to be able to know what discussion this is so we're gonna save the discussion ID next we need to be able to save the reply which is the actual reply so we're gonna say content right here and I think that's all we need for a reply okay so the next step is to go to the reply model and make sure it extends our base model and not the model from Laravel because remember our model turns off mass assignment exception awesome so now we are going to determine or define some relationships public function user or owner we can call this owner and then we're gonna say return this belongs to user class and since the primary key or the foreign key is user ID we're gonna precise that here and then we're also gonna say public function discussion and we're gonna return this belongs to discussion class and we don't need to specify the key right there awesome so we have owner and then we have discussion then we're gonna go to our replies controller and we are gonna create a custom request for adding a reply so we're gonna say add make request add reply request or we can just call this create reply reply request awesome so if we go to the create reply request then we can return true and here we're gonna say rules is the content must be provided so now when we go to our replies controller we can simply say auth user and then we can say replies and then create and then we'll pass in the discussion id okay so now we first of all have to inject the custom reply so reply request so create reply request right here and then since we're using wild model binding we can type hint discussion right here to get the discussion that we are trying to reply to so that here we can do discussion id and then we can also pass the content which is request content and this is supposed to be discussion id okay so now that we saved the reply for that user we can flash to the session also and no we haven't displayed the flash message yet but we're going to do that in a second so session flash success and this is going to be saying reply added and then would we'll return redirect back so that the user can view the reply okay so now that we have this all we need to do is define the replies relationship in the user model so user and we're just gonna duplicate this and replies because a user has many replies right so we're gonna have reply class right there when we submit a post request to a re to create a reply it's gonna save a reply for that user and save the contents and discussion ID to the database let's go ahead and try to submit this if we visit all discussions and right now we don't even have a link for all discussions i think we should go to the welcome.blade.php which is our home page and then right here if the user is authenticated we're just going to use url discussions okay so that we are redirected to the discussions page instead so if we come back now to the home we can see discussions it takes us to the list of all discussions and then i'm also going to do the same thing right here we're going to have forum 
or let's just call this discussions and then this is going to say level form and then this we're gonna route to our discussions route so we're gonna say route discussions dot index and in this way if i come back to my app we can visit discussions directly so that we are always on this page awesome so if we click on add discussion we can see the discussion right there but what we want to do is click on view discussion to view the discussion and then you can see the reply so i'm just going to copy this text paste it right here make part of it bold and then click on add reply and you can see that we redirected back to this page but we really don't know if the reply was created right it could be some for some validation rule so we're just going to come to this database and it looks like we haven't even run the migrations yet for the replies table so what we want to do is add migrate okay and why did it not give us a, a migration error i think that's because the validation rules actually failed let's just check out the request so the create reply request content is required and then if we check out show.lead.php right here we have idea of reply so the validation will actually fail right so what we want to do is change this to content okay and then the name should be content and the input right here should be content and i think that's good to go so if i refresh copy this dummy content paste it right here make some of it bold and italics click on add reply we are redirected back to this page let's check out our database to see if any of that was successful check out the replies table you can see right there we have our reply so we have the reply for that user and we have the reply for that discussion so now what we're going to do is display a list of replies first we need to go to the discussion model and define a relationship to get all replies for a specific document for a specific discussion so we're going to say public function replies and then we're going to return this has many reply class so that when we come to our show.blade.php we can loop through all of the replies and display them okay so here we can do a for each so right before we have the card for adding a reply we can have a for each discussion replies as reply and for each and then what we're going to do here is we're going to have a card.my5 and in this card we're going to have a card header and here i'm just going to have a div.dflex.justify content between and it's pretty much gonna be like the header with the avatar so here i'm gonna have a div i'm gonna have an image and the source is going to be gravata src this is going to be reply user email because we want to get the user who replied right so imagine or remember in the reply we have the owner model so it's supposed to be owner right so the reply owner email so we're going to say reply owner email okay and then we want to also display the reply owner's name so we're just going to say a span right there and this is going to be reply owner name awesome so if you go right now to our browser and refresh great so you can see right there we have a reply but we want to style this a little so maybe give this a width of 40 pixels a height of 40 pixels and also make sure that we give it a border radius of 50 percent okay so if i refresh great so we have that right there so this is replies for this discussion but for the body of the reply which is right here i'm just gonna have a card body and i'm just gonna print out the reply content so reply content 
and if i refresh great so you can see the reply contents right there so here's the discussion and then here's the list of all replies for that discussion and then we have the form for adding a reply so that's cool but what happens when there's a thousand replies are we going to display all the replies right here that's probably not what we want so what we want to do is paginate the replies right so we're going to come here and we can paginate it using this so replies so discussion replies then we can call the paginate method and paginate three and if we refresh we have exactly the same results but we're only gonna see three results right there and how do we display the pagination links we can come right down here and then after this we can simply call paginate three and then call links okay and if we refresh again Obviously, we have no results because there is no more than three replies. But let's try this. We're going to create some replies. So I'll post that. We have two. Post that again. We have three. And then I'll post another one. And great, you can see we have pagination automatically. But then we put the pagination in a loop. So that's why we have this right here. What we want to do is have the pagination out of the end for each loop right there. Okay? So if you check this out, Fresh, awesome so we have pagination just down here so we have page two to see the second page of all replies